Today I'm delighted to speak to Willie Heller, who's the CEO of Folk Renewables in London for Wind and Solar. So Willie, you're the CEO of a wind and solar power company, one of the biggest ones in the world focused on Europe. What's new these days with wind and solar power in Europe? So a lot of things going on in Europe these days, particularly given the financial crisis and the fact that governments are running large austerity programs. Uh, so there needs to be a balance uh, between high cost renewables and the need to meet uh, renewables targets. So EU law still requires all the EU members to meet 20% of all energy from renewables by 2020, but they're trying to do it as cost effectively as possible. And it's rather difficult to maintain that balance these days. So the goal is 20% uh, of their energy by 2020. Where are they today? And what are the main sources of those alternative energies? With the 20% target by 2020, which actually translates into 35% of electricity needing to come from uh, renewables because there's some technologies and some uses that you can't really replace uh, fossil fuels. Uh, the big sources are going to be coming from uh, wind power onshore, brand new sector coming offshore wind, which will be very large, and solar, the costs are dropping very quickly, so that's making it more cost effective. It's traditionally been a very high cost of of uh, renewable power, but it's coming down very quickly, very nicely these days. What percentage of energy is it? Currently, total energy within the EU is probably running between 10 and 11 percent. Now, that's very difficult to get to 20 because we started at about 8 because you count in the hydro assets. And so really what you're trying to do from new renewable technologies is to get from about 8 to 20, and that's a great deal. Well, you mentioned that the goal is 20 percent by 2020. Where are we today in 2011? How are we doing on that target? Cost dynamics are very different between wind and solar. They're both coming down quickly. In wind, it's just very simple. Uh, during the boom times, which is 2007 and 2008, the uh, industry doubled capacity, counting on very, very large growth, particularly in the U.S. market, which really hasn't come to pass. So there's massive excess capacity in wind turbine manufacturing. And so costs have come down, prices have come down approximately 20% over the last two years. In solar, it's really new innovation. You've got uh, the cost of manufacturing solar panels is coming down, cost of manufacturing inverters is coming down, coupled with the fact that there's massive competition now coming from China and starting to develop from India, which is adding new, new low-cost capacity to the industry.